Rosa, a petty criminal, ends up entangled in a scheme with Madrid's crime bosses, and her part of the plan is to seduce this pretty girl. God definitely has his favorites. Let's go with the first season of Sky High. The story begins in Madrid. Sol, the widow of a criminal boss, has been left in charge of the family business. Her father, Rogelio, who is also a criminal boss, offers to help her, but no. She is not letting go of control. She is not relinquishing control of the criminal empire inherited by her husband's asshole. On the other side is Duke, a cop who is tracking her and her father to dismantle their black market businesses. And he has managed to infiltrate this guy named Fernan into Sol's criminal team. And we also have this girl, Rosa. She works as a delivery girl and also brings in her own shady business, but more humble, not like these bosses. Going back to Seoul, at her son's birthday party, she meets Mercedes, a lawyer who helps them launder money earned from shady business. Mercedes has a daughter, this girl named Marta, a poor little rich girl who is sad because she never knew her father. Poor Seoul is half broke. Before he died, her husband did a robbery that went wrong and left her owing her soul to the Chinese mafia. So there she is, with no husband and no money. But Mercedes tells her calmly that they are going to multiply the little money they have and swim in bills. And while she was making a plan to do that, she receives a suspicious call from an unknown number. Rosa has called her and is harassing her, but Sol doesn't know that. She thinks it's some weird plan of the police. Rosa is harassing her because she thinks it's because of her that her cousin Estrella died. Because Estrella was Sol's husband's paramour. But no, Sol didn't kill her. After the robbery with the Chinese came out, Sol called her to take the money so that she and her husband wouldn't go to jail. Plan 10 out of 10. But execution zero out of ten. Because they killed Estrella and stole the money, then her husband did the self-death because Estrella was the love of his life. All wrong. And in the end, it turns out that the harassing calls Rosa was making from Estrella's number. The very dead Estrella. And the mystery doesn't last long. While Rosa continued harassing Soli, she sent Fernand to investigate, and soon they realized that the stalker was Rosa. That she is Estrella's cousin and everything. When Rosa realizes it, she has Sol knocking on her door. And it is not the only thing they realize. Rogelio, Sole's father, tells her that the lawyer Mercedes was the one who informed on them the day of the robbery with the Chinese, and that it is because of her that Estrella and her husband are dead. Sol tells this information to Rosa to get her off her back and start her revenge against Mercedes, against the Chinese, and against everyone who annoys her. On the other hand, Rosa has passed on her more than questionable methods of harassment to Mercedes. And there she is, more stupid than ever. Maybe or maybe not, because in the midst of her obvious surveillance, Rosa realizes that Mercedes makes recordings when she does shady business. So she talks to Sol about it so they can steal them and bring her and all her partners down. A classic, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Sol has gone from being the one being stalked to being her partner in stalking and evil schemes. I love it. And the next day, the Virgin of the Domiciles appears to Rosa. She receives a message to make a delivery to Mercedes' house. She goes and the delivery is for Marta, Mercedes' daughter. And it seems that Marta has quite liked the girl from the delivery. And that weekend, Rosa, who has been perfecting her stalking skills, follows Marta to a club and starts the seduction plan. Execution of the plan 10 out of 10. Then, while Sol goes around consolidating her empire of crime, Rosa is out there flirting with Marta. but she will probably end up falling in love. After being together, they have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Because Rosa is in the deepest part of the closet in denial because her family, her neighborhood, and her world are homophobic and do not accept what is not normal. But Marta tells her that love is love and that the ones who are not normal are them, that there is nothing wrong with her. And then she tells her that her mother has supported her since she told her she was a lesbian when she was very young. And well, be a criminal and whatever, but a thousand hearts to you, Mrs. Mercedes. And speaking of Mercedes, she was working quietly when Rogelio, Sole's father, arrives to confront her. Rogelio tells her that she is only fooling around with Sole because she wants to get even with him because he left her. Here everyone is between spite and the desire for revenge. Back with Rosa, after the flirting and the heart-to-heart -heart moment, she has returned to the plans for revenge. She goes around checking the house and has found a safe where she suspects the recordings may be. But she doesn't get to investigate any further because Marta comes out of the shower. And then Mercedes arrives. Rosa quickly says she is leaving and runs out of there. After she leaves, Marta and Mercedes talk. 
Because, well, Mercedes is fine with her daughter dating women, but not with a humble delivery girl. She didn't like that. But she still leaves her alone because it's her life and her decisions. Meanwhile, Rosa has gone to Sol's place. She has told her about the whole thing with Marta and that she has found the recordings. This revenge is going well. A few days later, Mercedes is working when she sees Rosa passing by on her bike. And, well, she has the stealth of an elephant. Mercedes begins to suspect her and sends her to investigate. Unfortunately, with this information, Sol already has a plan. They are going to fake a robbery in Mercedes's house, and she organizes with a friend of her father's who works in the police so that the agents casually find the recordings when they go to stop the supposed robbery. But since Mercedes doesn't know that, she's just hanging around worried about her daughter's special friend. She has already been given the information and knows that Rosa is the Estrella's cousin, so she goes and tells her daughter, Listen, Marta, you are not going to see that girl again. But since he can't give her a good reason without talking to her about his criminal hobbies, Marta doesn't give a damn and doesn't pay attention, of course. And maybe it's too late because the plan to bring Mercedes down has already begun. <gasps> the next day, while Mercedes was working, Rosa was with Marta at her house. They're distracting her so that she would leave the alarm deactivated and so that the boys could work quietly. But even so, the plan goes a little awry. First, a neighbor sees them and calls the police, and second, because one of the guys gets distracted watching the girls together. And speaking of the girls, while Rosa is there distracting her to advance with the revenge plan and put her mother in jail, Marta is there telling her that she is falling in love with her. And nothing more happens with these declarations of love because just at that moment the police arrive and then the neighbor goes into Rambo mode and starts shooting at the thieves. It's crazy. At the end, Rosa herself takes a car from I don't know where and helps Fernan, the police infiltrator who is helping Sol in her criminal activities to escape. And back to the house. Marta talks to Mercedes and tells her that they have broken in and taken everything in the safe. Everything except the recordings. Those were left for the police to find. With the documents they took from the safe, Rosa realizes that Marta's missing father is Rogelio, Sole's father. So Marta and Sole are sisters. Plot twist! When Mercedes arrives at the house, she is worried about her daughter. But then she almost gives her a heart attack when she finds out that the police have taken the memories with the recordings. The next day, Rosa goes to see Marta. Marta tells her that she has covered for her and told her mother and the police that she was home alone. But she also tells her that she is not stupid, that she knows that Rosa was with the thieves. But Rosa distracts her by telling her that she knows who her father is and that her mother lied to her all her life. In the end, she really is a little stupid and in love. Meanwhile, Mercedes goes to talk to one of the thieves, the only one they caught of those who broke into her house. And he is one of Sol's boys. But Mercedes, who turns out to be as dumb as her daughter, doesn't believe it's Sol. She thinks it was someone else. Terrible. It's impossible to be a bigger idiot. So Sol's father goes to see her and tells her that he'll take care of the guy before he tells Mercedes the obvious. That her boss Sol has sent him to rob her house. Because if Mercedes finds out that it was Sol, she's going to have a lot of problems. On the other hand, Mercedes, who is an idiot but not that stupid, is ready to negotiate with the police and hand over some of her associates so as not to go to jail. The truth is that Sol is the real dumb here. I mean, yes, Mercedes ratted out her husband, and that's why he and Estrella died. But come on, Mercedes was her best ally, and he threw her under the bus. And now Mercedes is ready to betray her to get out of prison. <laughs> and Sol is dumb like herself. First she betrays Mercedes, and then she continues to trust her to manage her money and find out about all her plans and shady business. And meanwhile, Marta continues to meet with Rosa. No, girl, watch out! Nope, she doesn't watch out. On the other hand, Rogelio's police friend tells them about the deal that Mercedes made with the police, that she is going to hand over Sole, the Chinese, and a bunch of criminals to the police. Mercedes is calmer now because she thinks she's got away with it, but no, she doesn't know what's coming. And at the end, Rosa tells Marta who her father is and that she has a sister. Marta quickly goes to meet Soli there in the business she has as a cover to clean the money, but in the end she leaves and doesn't say anything to her. Sol panics, thinking that that's it, that Mercedes has discovered her. But Rosa says no and tells her that Marta is her sister. Then Sol stands there with her best face of, oops, I screwed up, and it's not the only thing. Marta arrives to pick up everything to leave the house. She tells Mercedes that she already knows everything, leaves her crying and leaves with Rosa. Oh, how cute. After doing everything to put her mother in jail, now they go to play house. Because, of course, Rosa has also fallen in love with Marta. Meanwhile, Mercedes, Sol, and Fernan are on their way to Africa to make a deal with the Chinese. 
a deal in which Mercedes was going to give Sol, but now it must be a trap for Mercedes. But they chose the wrong victim for revenge. Sol and Rosa wanted to attack Mercedes because she told the police and that's why Estrella died. Well, Rosa found a video in Estrella's cell phone and realizes that Sol's father's police friend was the one who betrayed them all. He shot Estrella and stole the money. Then Rosa stands there with her best face of, oops, I screwed up, but late, very late. And speaking of the policeman friend, well now Sol is working with him to bring Mercedes down. This guy is the enemy at home anyway. Rosa sees the guy in the video but has no idea who he is, and since she hasn't been able to contact Soli, she decides to go to the police with the video to denounce him. Later that day, Solo, who is in Africa, receives a message from Rosa with the video, and she stands there with her best face of tragedy when she sees that her father's police friend is a traitor. Now it remains to be seen if her father is involved in the scam. Rosa doesn't manage to denounce anything because while she was at the station, she sees the guy in the video pass by and realizes that he is a policeman. And while in Africa, Sol also realizes that Fernan is an undercover cop. Back to Rosa. It turns out that Rogelio was involved and tipped off his cop friend. And you saw that Rosa was at the station? Well, now the dirty cop is looking for her. Meanwhile in Africa, Sole helps Fernando escape and warns Mercedes to get away. Since that plan fell through, they are all escaping. And the one who is also escaping is Rosa. But in the end, the cop catches her and is ready to get her out of the way. Fortunately, Marta goes to the rescue and surprisingly, Rogelio also goes to the rescue. In the middle of the rescue, the cop gets distracted and Rosa ends up shooting him. While in Africa, Sol ends up escaping with Mercedes and Fernan. They manage to take a flight and escape just as the police arrive for them. In Madrid, Marta arrives, takes Rosa with her and leaves Rogelio there to deal with the body and the whole mess. And with everyone betrayed and about to go to jail, the first season of Sky High ends, but it's not all bad. It also ends with the girls happy and in love. See you in the next video. Bye.